Hi everyone, my name is Jared Polis, and I'm honored to be running for Governor of Colorado. I'm a proud Colorado native, and even prouder that my four-year-old and six-year-old get to grow up calling this amazing state our home. And I want to make sure that the Colorado way of life that we love is available not just to my kids, but to every child growing up in our state. You know, year after year, Coloradans' bills are growing, while for many of us, paychecks are not keeping up. I'm running for governor because I know that if we work together and take bold action, we can make sure that every Coloradan in every part of our state has a real opportunity to get ahead. I've built businesses, created jobs, met payroll, and I was really proud that in our businesses we provided quality health care benefits and stock options from day one so that our employees got to share in our success. I want to bring that same spirit of entrepreneurship to the governor's office. In this campaign, I'm not accepting any PAC money or donations larger than $100. So that when I'm making decisions as governor about our health care, about making housing affordable, about our schools, about transportation, I'll only answer to you, the people of Colorado. Together, we'll bring free full day preschool and kindergarten to every child in Colorado and end decades of underinvestment in our public schools. We'll take immediate action to save you money on health care while standing strong against any effort to gut the Medicaid expansion or roll back coverage for people with pre existing conditions. We'll make sure Colorado remains a special place to live and recreate and create thousands of good paying jobs across the state. And we'll tackle the high costs of living so families can afford not just to live and get by, but to thrive in the communities that we love. Again, I'm Jared Polis, and I'm grateful for this opportunity to earn your support. Thank you. Republican Walker Stapleton, candidate for governor, chose not to participate in the candidate introductions. Hello, my name is Bill Hammonds. I'm the 2018 Unity Party nominee for Colorado governor. I'm here to ask you for your vote. I'm the first Unity Party candidate for governor to appear on a general election ballot. And myself and my running mate, Eric and Bone Stapp, will be appearing number three statewide. I also happen to be the founder and chairman of the 38th State Unity Party of America and I hope you'll check that unity box on your voter registration form in addition to voting for us. Colorado needs to continue to lead the way on national issues. Every American deserves affordable health care, and we can start that right here in Colorado with a Colorado-based Medicare for All system. Every American deserves freedom from forest fires, drought, and other symptoms of climate change. And we can start the battle right here in Colorado by making our state a center for clean energy. Every American deserves freedom from the growing stupidity of Washington. Drain the swamp, ditch the swamp. Colorado should offer finance land for a new national capital east of DIA called Lincoln, D.C. Mr. or Miss Voter, if you're not sitting down now, please do so now. You might find it shocking that I'll admit the odds are against the Unity Party winning in 2018. However, we don't need to earn 50% to make a difference. We just need 10%. 10% of the statewide vote in governor's race will make the Unity Party a legally defined major party starting in 2020, on the same level as the Dems and Republicans. And that means the 2020 Unity Party presidential candidate can appear number one on the ballot statewide in Colorado. Since Colorado lists major party presidential candidates alphabetically, we can make sure our presidential candidate appears number one. Remember, we're not spoilers if the system is already rotten to the core. Hammonds, Bodenstab, dub dub dub, billisrunning.com. Thank you. Hi, my name is Scott Helker. I'm the Libertarian candidate for governor. Libertarians believe 
and limited government, which means we have to believe that government does not have all the solutions. If you believe government has all the solutions, you put yourself in a small box with only 10% of the solutions. If you choose, like I do, to believe that government may not have the solutions, then you put yourself in a wider audience where 90% of the great ideas are. Example, beavers. The Colorado Compact, when it was first established, based on 19th century science, had two tasks to do. Task number one, measure the volume of water in the Colorado River systems. Task number two, pull out as many beaver ponds as possible. They measured the Colorado River for 10 years. After they pulled out the beaver ponds, the water level dropped by two thirds. What this means to you, if we reintroduce beavers in South Park, along the South Park and eventually the Platte River, we would increase the water volume in that river by at least a third, based on 21st century science about beavers. Beavers fill up the aquifers at an amazing rate. This is Scott Helker, Libertarian candidate for governor, presenting alternative ideas and solutions for you.